Let's take a moment and check out the differences between the new Phantom 3 Professional and the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, which many of us own. First of all, the first thing you're going to notice is that they have different power supplies. The new power supply, you know, let's take a look at the old one first. The old one you're familiar with, it has the double blades right here, and that's all it does. It just charges up the battery. The new power supply hooks up the same way. It has the same double blades in it, but it is a different battery. The new battery is a 15.2 volt, 4480 milliamp valley, milliamp hour battery, and this is a 11.1 .1 volt, 52 milliamp hour battery that went in the old Phantom 2 series. The new Phantom 3 series batteries are more powerful in voltage and have less milliamp hours, which actually gives the aircraft more air time. You'll also notice that this new charger has an additional plug on it. This additional plug is for charging the remote control unit. On the old Phantom 2 models, we used to have six or four AA batteries that we put in the back, and that's how we powered up the remote control. Now, the remote control has a built-in battery. It's a LiPo cell, and it is charged by the charger that charges your battery for flight time. All you have to do is find this little port on the side here and plug in the charger to the side of the remote control and you will see that it charges it up and you can also charge your battery at the same time. They don't recommend that you do this but I've tried it and it does work. Use at your own risk. So, other differences between these two models. Well, of course, the controller is completely different. As we saw just a minute ago, the controller has an internal LiPo cell battery. It has dual antennas on the back. The old controller used this, the AA batteries. It has a single antenna on the back and a 2.4 gig extender for the wireless signal to go up and back from the craft. On the new controller, you'll notice that it's completely different. We have buttons around the side here for P, A, and F. These are your three flight mode controls, like the GPS and ATTI modes that we used to have. We also have the dial right here, which is for controlling the gimbal, and a button here to start record for videos. On the other side of the remote, we have another uh, dial here, and this one right here actually controls some of the camera settings so that you can change them in flight. Up here, we've got another shutter release button, and that takes still images. Now, the new remote has, like the older remote, a way of connecting your phone or device into it. This one's much bigger because it holds tablets as well. So, let's take a look at the two aircraft themselves. These are very similar aircraft. They look almost identical. We'll take a look at the Vision Plus first. Here's the Vision Plus aircraft and the Phantom 3 aircraft. They look basically the same. The mold is almost identical. Here's the old Vision Plus camera and the gimbal that it went on. And here's the new Phantom 3 camera and the gimbal it sits on. As you can see, they're very similar in almost every way. The differences lay inside the sensor and the lenses for the camera. We'll get into that a little bit more in depth than what I'm writing up, but for right now, what you also need to know is, if you notice behind the gimbal here on the Vision Plus, there's nothing but labels. On the Phantom 3, there's another module back here. That module houses a couple of things. First, it houses two sonic sensors and a visual flow sensor, sort of like a mouse uses to determine where it is in space. This craft can sense itself on the ground within about 10 feet and keep stability and tracking on the ground with these sensors. Also, built into the back part of this aircraft is the light bridge transmission system. And um, that transmits the video signal over one mile back to the operator. The old system used a 2.4 gig extender and did not have that type of distance. It went about 2,000 feet or close to half a mile. The new system is much better since it actually transmits full HD back to you um, on your application. You can see in much higher definition than you used to be able to on the Vision Plus.
So, basically, the battery compartments are the same. They look very, very similar. And the difference is, is that the battery doesn't fit. The new one won't fit into the old craft because of some differences that they've made in the housing. Otherwise, the two batteries seem to be identical, and so do the craft. Well, that's a look, a brief look, at the new Phantom 3 Professional quadcopter from DJI Global. And I'll be taking this one out for a spin, and we'll talk more about it when I get back. Enjoy your flying.